Shane Zilstra was a play that nobody had. And I mean nobody. 0% roster ship on on sleeper, 0% start. If you somehow plugged in Shane Zilstra into your lineup, put a link to to screenshots in in the comments, please. I want to see your Zane Shane Zilstra receipts because this is a player who had six targets on the season coming into the week 16 game. And he had six targets in this game, five receptions, three touchdowns, only 26 yards. He finishes the tight end four on the week, even though he had three touchdowns. It's just the kind of week the tight ends had, right? But Shane Zilstra, this was a season high snap share, 44% of snaps. You have to wonder if he's going to be the tight end playing over Brock Wright or, or Mitchell, James Mitchell, right? James Mitchell played 29% of snaps and Brock Wright, played 41% of the snaps. So Zilstra out snapped the other tight ends in this game. I wonder if that had to do with, he caught one touchdown, he caught two touchdowns. Maybe we'll give him a, a few more snaps. It's just, this is one of those fluke tight end performances that I'm not like chasing the touchdowns or, or chasing the usage after, but it's, it's a nice story. Good for Shane Zilstra. I'm happy for him. It's just not going to work out for you for fantasy, I, at least in a way that I anticipate it's going to be meaningful against Chicago. The, the stickiness factor is is not very strong there given that he has had 30% or more of the snaps each of the last four weeks. But as I said, six targets in this week, there were six targets the entire season. And if we look back in his game logs back to 2021, we had, we saw one other game in week 14 in 2021, where he had six targets when he was playing for the Detroit lions. We've, we've at least seen one little speck of this previously for Shane Zilstra. But as, as we, as we know, like Zilstra is not a household name. It's not a player who you were banking on 0% roster ship. If you like the content, and this is helpful to you, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. It really helps the channel. Yes, like if if you're a touchdown chaser, like sure, go for Shane, Shane Zilstra, but you're not starting Shane Zilstra over Mark Andrews or or even like a Hunter Henry or Greg Dolchich. Like you're not starting Shane Zilstra. You might have to start him over, over Dolchich if Dolchich's hamstring injury is, is going to be limiting him. But even then, I would start Albert Okuog Boonham over Shane Zilstra, right? I would just anticipate Okuog Boonham would play more snaps. So Zilstra is not a player that I'm in on, and and you should be, you should not be either. So good for Shane Zilstra, happy for him, but it's not a play that I am targeting moving forward.